Hello beautiful peeps and welcome to Bambi Pattern and the beginning friendly step-by-step -step tutorial video of the honey skirt. Please share your kind reviews and without waiting any further, let's get started. Refer to the honey skirt PDF guide on fabric layout section for further details. Take the serged or overlocked thread pieces and tie a small knot close to the fabric and cut the remaining hanging thread. Repeat the same process for all pieces. Afterward, pin the individual back flounce pattern together and sew the back seams. Use a steam iron with water to press the back seams. For this tutorial, we are doing option A of the honey skirt. Take the second and third front and back flounce, fold the upper edge of the flounce 2 cm or 0.79 inches in and press. For option B of the honey skirt, using your regular machine foot on your biggest stitch length, sew a straight stitch from the upper edge of the front and back second and third flounce. Continuing with option A of the honey skirt, I'm using a herring foot to perform the gathering stitch. On the machine, the straight stitch should be selected, tighten the machine thread tension, increase the stitch length to the biggest on your machine. For example, normally my thread tension is usually 2.5 and I've changed it to 6.5 For option B of the honey skirt Use the lower thread, being the bobbin thread, to pull, allowing the fabric to gather. Locate the center front notches and pin the second flounce to the bottom of the first flounce. Fit the gathered edges to the bottom of the first flounce. Perform the same for the third gathered flounce to the bottom of the second flounce. Repeat for the back. Continuing with option A of the honey skirt, now that we have all three front flounces in front of us, you will need to locate the center front notch of the first flounce bottom edge and match it to the second flounce gathered edge center front, as well as the second flounce bottom edge center front to the third flounce gathered edge center front. Fit the gathered edge to the bottom edge of the first and second flounces. The important thing to note is that we are sewing the edges together.
right side of the fabric together, pin the edges with the fold pushed inside as demonstrated here. Do not sew on the fold. Sew the flounces to create a front and a back skirt. Option A of the honey skirt, we're going to press the back and the front seams with a seam iron. Thereafter, we're going to fold the waistline at the notches and press the fold pieces. Top stitch the flounce fold. This is the result. All right, so you're gonna actually take where your notch is, you're gonna join it to the to the mark that you actually made um, on your fabric with regards to the notch. And I know mine is here. So this is the notch for where I said the pocket was going to be, and I'm putting it together. And again, it's right side against right side when I, when I pinned him, okay. Sew the pocket at 0.7 cm or 0.28 inch from the edge. Thereafter, you're going to press the seam with a steam iron. Press the right side of the front together with the right side of the back. Pin the side seams from the waistline around the pocket and to the hemline. Sew 1 cm or 0.39 inch from the edge. Making sure that by the pocket this seam will be further in than the seam sewn that joins the pocket to the skirt. Press the side seam. Thereafter, fold the hemline at 2 cm or 0.79 inches and press the fold. At the waistline, we're going to sew 1 cm or 0.39 inch from the folded edge. Thereafter, sew the waistline edge at 0.5 cm or 0.20 inch, but leave an opening to pull the elastic through. Once the elastic has been pulled through, sew the elastic together with zigzag stitches and close the opening. Use the steam iron to help fold the front deco strings using notches as guidance.
Attach the front deco string to the center front of the waistline. Sew the hemline. This is the last step. Now you can style and wear the honey skirt. Share your journey of making the skirt. It will be a delight hearing from you. Smiles and laughter, Bambi patterns.